Hi everyone and welcome to the ProBuilder 2.0 GUI tutorial. In this tutorial we'll just be taking a quick look at the GUI, the panel here on the side that you can create, and also the actions available in the window menu up here. So first of all we have the mode indicator and this will tell you whether you are in the regular selection mode or if you are in the geometry face editing mode, geometry vertex editing mode, or the texture editing mode. And when you go into texture editing mode, it will open up the texture editor. Uh, at this time, we're not going to look into that. That will save for the texture editing tutorial. So once you close that, it'll go back to the regular selection mode. Below that, we have the shape creation tool, which you can use to, as it sounds, create several different types of shapes. You simply uh, click here on the drop down menu and choose any one that's available. And we'll be adding lots more of these soon and then set any of the parameters as you need to. So any of these that are a size are going to be in meters and then a couple different uh, options here and click the build to create that item. Below that we have the merge tool and this is used, uh, you can select any number of ProBuilder objects and hit the merge button and it will merge them down all into one single object. So this is obviously very handy for saving draw calls and just making your scene a little more easy to manage sometimes. When you do that, you will have the option to either save the currently selected items, in which case they'll just be uh, deactivated, they'll be grayed out in your hierarchy and won't be part of the game, or you can simply delete the originals, whichever works for you. Below that then is the group button. And this uh, really is just a simple function. It just takes the selected Pro Builder objects and pushes them into a hierarchical group. So there'll be an empty game object created that we pushed underneath that, and then you can move them around and uh, just move them through your scene and, and rotate them as one, which can be handy. So just uh, just a useful little feature. Below that, uh, very nice, is the, uh, the prefab tool, and this will take any selected objects and turn them into a prefab. And you do need to do it this way, taking a um, you know, the usual method of drag and dropping something from the hierarchy into the project will not create a proper prefab, so make sure you do use this button to create a prefab in ProBuilder. Just below that is the light mapping button. You'll just need to press this every time before you run a light map, and this is because we have to do some special things to auto-generate those really nice and, you know, beautiful looking UV2 channels, uh, or UV2 channels that allow the nice, crisp, beautiful light maps. Uh, that you can get with Pro Builder. So anyway, just make sure you press that before you uh, run any light maps. Below that is the Viz Group panel, and this is used to turn on and off different uh, entity types in the Pro Builder uh, scheme. So this again, we'll look into a separate tutorial in the Viz Groups tutorial and a bit in the optimization as well. Uh, just know that it's here, and you can use it to toggle on and off items. Uh, just a quick note, if anybody is a Hammer user, or possibly in other engines, you'll recognize the use of this right away probably, but don't worry, it's very, very simple and extremely handy. So moving up to the Window menu, hit click on that and then go down to Pro Builder. You'll have the option to create a Pro Builder cube, which you'll notice is also Control k we have the uh, skipping past actions for now, the quick start, which is something that you'll use to install ProBuilder, and we keep it there just in case some things go wrong with the install, so normally you want to just ignore that. We have the open shape menu, which is Control shift k so you can get right to that, and the ProBuilder menu, uh, ProBuilder window, which will open up this. So if we close that, ProBuilder menu menu will bring that up. And you can place this as a floating option, or you can dock it, just like so. Then under the Actions area, we have the Auto No Draw option, something else we'll look into in the uh, Optimizing section. And as it says with the exclamation point, it is in beta, so please be careful with this one. Uh, we have the Very Handy Set Pivot, which was actually donated or built by one of the forum members on the 6x7 forum, uh, Matt1988, so thank you for that. And then below that, uh, the project-wide hide node draw, something again we'll look into the optimization section. The export to OBJ, which will take all the selected ProBuilder objects and export them to one single OBJ, which you can open up in, you know, Max or Maya or, or uh, Blender, <laughs> Blender or something like that. Um, 
And below that, then again, project-wide show no draw, which related to this one, obviously, the hide no draw, and of course, we'll look into in a future tutorial. So that's it for the ProBuilder 2.0 GUI. Thanks for taking a look, and see you in the other tutorials. Thanks.